I doing? It's Yuli here and I'm holding here in my hands the Tozo IPX8 waterproof wireless earphones. Those are very popular earphones and in this video I'm going to try and conclude if the earphones are safe to use or not safe to use. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna measure the actual EMF which is coming outside the earphones. I'm going to do it using the following EMF meter. I'm holding in my hands an EMF field acoustic meter. It's measuring the amount of radio frequencies which is emitted from really any form of device. Other words which you can use for this which is wireless radiation or microwave radiation because that's what it is. And currently in the environment I am, in the room where I'm doing measurements, it's currently on zero. So that's the base measurement which we're gonna go off and we're gonna see if the actual EMF which is emitted by the Tozo IPX8 wireless earphones is safe to use or not safe to use. So let's jump into it. Now I want to reference something related to the phone. This is a phone which I'm holding, currently it's on airplane mode and there's lots of research that shows that using the phone next to your head can potentially cause some cancer and legally the actual phone companies are telling you to hold the phone at least two millimeters from your body so legally they advise you not to use the phone next to your head but to keep some distance now with the earphones when they were wireless and you're putting it in your ears it is going in your brain there is no two millimeters from your body so the exposure is very high on the brain specifically when you're putting the earphones in the ears which is on the brain itself okay so i have the two earpods which are supposed to go to the brain after they've been charged using this uh, wireless tozo uh, station and I have no Bluetooth on my phone, those are just the earrings, the earphones which you're supposed to put in your brain. And they are putting out large, very large amount of radio frequencies. So the device is picking up at around peak of 3 volts per meter. Now the distance is usually your friend with such exposure, but the thing with the earphones, you're putting them on your brain. And this is without actual phone. Let's put some distance. You know, some distance is still very, very high. I'm gonna put it even further. Only with this distance right now, the levels are becoming more or less acceptable. However, this is not how you are using this product. The way people use the Tozo IPX product, you put this on your brain, meaning This is how close it is. And this exposure, what you see here on the device, is what goes on in your brain. As can be seen again and again, this is something you put on your brain. So unfortunately, those are very, very high exposures. This is without me even activating the Bluetooth. So if right now I'll go and we'll connect to the Bluetooth and right now, it is connecting and it's extremely, extremely high. You can even hear the sound which the device, which the radio frequency meter is doing. The sound can allow, is allowing us to see the unseen. It's allowing us to see the radio frequency. So when you combine both the actual wireless earphones, which are very high, and then the phone, which will usually be in your pocket, um, the exposures are simply very, very high. Now we gonna remove the Bluetooth. It's already a bit less. So my final conclusion is the device is not safe to use. I'm holding here again the Tozo IPX8 waterproof wireless earphones. And based on what you've seen in this video, with the recordings where I utilize the following radio frequency, the EME fields, acoustimeter, the readings are off the roof. It's not a device you would want to use on your brain where it's your most sensitive organ possible. 
My conclusion from all we've seen in the video is it's not a device you want to use. I would skip using the Tozo IPX8. It failed the wireless radiation test and I would rather use wired earphones which don't emit any kind of wireless radiation. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned a lot. Please stay tuned for more information related to EMF and EMF protection in the following videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. Take care.